The former General Motors plant in Janesville is coming down. The company that bought the 250-acre site announced today it plans to demolish most of the facilities to make way for a new business. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw spoke with a former assembly plant worker who has more, and she has more on his reaction to the news. The GM plant has been part of Janesville's history for nearly a century, but it won't be standing here much longer. And many people say they're excited to see what takes its place. How did that 90 years go so fast? Gary Mawinney spent 30 years inside this assembly plant. It was my first job and my last job. He remembers all the good that GM brought to Janesville and everything that Janesville gave back. Through the 70s, I know the Janesville plant was number one in quality and number one in efficiency, so it stood out in the General Motors Corporation also. Even though Mawinney retired before GM placed the plant on standby, he was here when the last car rolled off the line he used to work. I seen the first one off, so I wanted to go down and see the last one off the assembly line in December of 2008. Since then, the plant has sat empty, but now there are new signs of life after a St. Louis-based redevelopment company bought the site. As you see, new facilities being constructed and new uh, manufacturers choosing the site in Janesville, I think you'll be very excited. And sometimes the best way to move forward is by starting fresh. It looks like we're going to have to demolish the 4 million square foot uh, facility. Commercial Development Company says it plans to do work inside the 4.8 million square foot facility for the next few months removing asbestos. And by April, the buildings will be ready to come down. So we'll use machinery that's going to nibble it down. So you'll see big yellow uh, machines out there that'll just take a bite and pull. And as the city says goodbye to General Motors, people are looking ahead to what comes next. We're in good hands. Janesville's going to have another future down there, big future. CDC says it hopes to have the site ready for new development by the spring of 2019. The company will be running a national marketing campaign and says it's already had some interest. In Janesville, Jenna Mitta, WISC News 3. And CDC says it believes the site would be best used by multiple different companies, but is willing to listen and work with the community.